Hello there, very good afternoon everybody and a very happy new year to all of you out there. My name is Johnny, I'm very honoured to be the host of this webinar where we'll be sharing with you and your partner how you can succeed in the year of the ox. So thank you so much for being here today. Now I'm sure many of you are very excited and curious to know your fortunes for the year of 2021. Now, how is your career going to be like? Your love life? Uh, is there going to be any health issues? Will there be any financial misfortunes? Well, lucky for you, Income has teamed up with Wei Feng Shui Group to develop an exclusive couple zodiac generator on our microsite, which is www.income.com.sg slash family. Now, I'll be saying this microsite a lot of times today because it's very important. This is where we want you to go to, first of all, you know, go ahead and see the fortunes for you and your other half. It's a very nice little site and very colourful and very easy to use. So head on there if you haven't done so, all right? Now, also there you will find a health and wealth guide to help you achieve a brighter future for this year and beyond for you and your family. So head over there when you can. Now, over the next hour, Master Mark Tan from Wei Feng Shui Group will be unveiling what the Year of the Ox holds for you and your partner, especially in the areas of health and wealth. Now, I'm sure all of you are sharing the excitement I have. I can't wait to hear what he has to say about our fortunes. And uh, you know what? You'll definitely want to stay till the end of the webinar as well because we've got some exciting prizes for you. Let me show you what kind of prizes we are talking about right here. Now, you can see on your screen, so we have a total of three prizes to give out to three lucky winners at the end of our webinar. You need to pay special attention to the presentation, of course. All right, the prizes are, we have a bundle of the Lucky Diary Chinese Zodiac Handbook and the Almanac. We also have a bundle, it's just with the Lucky Diary and the Chinese Zodiac Handbook. And we have a grab food voucher with $50. So exciting prizes to give away here. Very interesting things happening in just a while. So stay tuned for that. Now, let me just go ahead and go through some of the important features that we'll be using throughout this session. So bear with me. So first thing I want to talk to you about is these two functions, the chat function and the Q&A function that can be found on the bottom bar of your Zoom window. All right, so the chat function is for you to highlight any technical issues that you might have with the session. Like, for example, for some reason you can't hear the audio or the screen goes blank or anything like that or it's very laggy, please let us know uh, via the chat function. But please remember to also toggle it such that you are replying to all panelists and attendees. Once again, there's a drop-down window in the chat function. Uh, just make sure that it's to all panelists and attendees. Thank you. Now for the Q&A function, now this is for you to type any questions you might have for Master Mark to answer. So mostly, of course, with regards to feng shui, especially in the areas of health and wealth. I mean, you know what, feng shui is a very big topic. You can be asking about anything, but let's try to focus a bit more about what he's talking about, about the fortunes, especially in the area of health and wealth. All right, that'd be great. So, uh, you know what, let's do something right now to get us all warmed up with these functions and also for me to get to know more about you guys out there, okay, shall we? Now, this is going to be for the chat function. So, I want all of you to just go ahead and hit that chat button over there, all right? It will bring up the chat window. Remember, there's a drop-down menu over there and make sure you put that to all panelists and attendees. Do that right now. And once you're ready, I just want to ask you a simple question to find out more about you guys out there and the question is... What are the zodiac signs of you and your partner? I want to see what kind of combinations we have out there. So once again, what are the zodiac signs of you and your partner? I have the Zoom session right here on my phone. Oh, the chat is exploding right now. So I have so many of you replying. Thank you so much, by the way. So we have some ox and rats. We have uh, monkey and ox, rabbit and tiger, tiger and dragons. Lots of tigers. <laughs> this is the first thing when I, when I glance. Uh, lots of tigers, oxes, oxen, rather. Yeah, great. Okay, so thank you so much for your replies. All right, so now we have a very big variety of combinations here. So I think today's session will be very interesting for you to kind of figure out what's the fortunes like for you and your other half. All right, so that's the chat function. Now let's talk a bit more about another function we, I didn't say earlier on, and this is actually the poll. Now, for the poll questions, it will actually just appear on your screen, all right? Now, when you want to answer, you just have to pick your preferred answer from that pop-up. You don't have to actually go into uh, the chat function to type your answers. Please don't go to the chat function to type in the answers for the poll. So let me just go ahead and start with one right now. And the question should appear right now. And that is, 
have you tried the Zodiac generator on our microsite? Yes or no? Okay, once again, our uh, microsite is www.income.com.sg slash family, uh, and it's an exclusive generator, so hopefully you have tried it out. I'm going to go ahead and see uh, what the results are. So you just go ahead and click on your preferred answer, yes or no, okay? And I strongly recommend if you go, go visit that if you haven't done so already, okay? And there you can find many other useful resources to help you plan out your year uh, to maximize your, your potential for the year. All right, thank you so much. Now, uh, we have the results. So if I can just look at my Zoom over here. No, 85% uh, resounding no. <laughs> Maybe this is the first time you're hearing about it. Not to worry. This is a good excuse for you to go there now or maybe sometime during the session, after the session, and try it out. It's very simple. You key in your birth date as well as your other half's birth date and let us know if you have any children and just, just hit go and it will just basically give you a little a snapshot of your fortunes together, right? So just go ahead and do that if you haven't done so. Income.com.sg slash family. Thank you. Now let's go to the next question. The next question that will appear on your Zoom window right now is, are you watching this seminar with your partner? Once again, are you viewing this webinar with your partner? Yes or no. Now, I strongly, of course, recommend that you watch it together with your partner because, of course, maybe your partners have a different zodiac sign and uh, maybe they can get a different insight about their zodiac and together you can come up with the best possible path to success. All right? Okay, so, yeah, so we have gotten all the answers. Thank you so much. And the answers, uh, yeah, the results are also a resounding no. Uh, this is expected. The first session we had, same thing. Somebody has to take care of the house and the kids, right? So at least one of you is attending. That's great. All right, so we want to thank you so, so much for attending this session. Uh, all right, so with that said, everybody, um, we have one more question. And this has to do with, we want to know how many parents are out there. So the question is, how many children do you have? All right, this should pop up on your Zoom as well. Please go ahead and key in your answers. Uh, of course, if you don't have any children, then just, you don't have to answer. Uh, we're just going ahead and let the parents answer instead. So earlier on in the previous session, we had a lot of parents of two children. Let's see if we have the same trend here. Yeah? <laughs> All right, almost there. So hopefully you guys are getting a, a hang of how the poll function works, the chat function works as well, because uh, later on, even our uh, speaker will be using those functions too. All right, thank you. We have the results now. And once again, 54% have two children. Okay, uh, so thank you very much. Wherever it is, we are just so thankful that you're here. And thanks for letting me know more about you guys who are tuning in. All right, so with that said, everyone, uh, let's go ahead and start with what we're here for in the first place. We're going to invite Master Mark Tan from Wei Feng Shui Group one of Singapore's most established feng shui consultancy firms to talk us through what we've been waiting for. Master Mark Tan is a third generation rising star in the feng shui industry and also the co-author of the annual publication Chinese Zodiac and Feng Shui Handbook, which is now in its ninth run since 2011. So remember, if you do have any questions for Master Mark along the way, you can actually go ahead and type that into the Q&A function at the bottom of your screen, okay? And remember, you don't have to ask the questions after he's done with this presentation. At any point in time, you can go ahead and key in your questions. With that said, it's over to you, Master Mark. Uh, I'm Mark. Uh, don't call me Master Mark. I feel a little too young to be called Master Mark. Uh, just call me Mark. I'm very happy to be uh, uh, addressed as Mark. Thank you, uh, Johnny, for the wonderful introduction. Thank you, Income, for putting together this wonderful online event. And thank you for everyone at home who are staying tuned, uh, trying to find out more about your luck. Over the next 45 minutes, I'm going to give you all the information. Make sure you have your, your jo uh, jotter book. And back in the days, we called it jotter book, right? Uh, you have your notebooks, you have your pen to jot down all this important information. What we are going to do today, what we're going to cover today is basically all the Zodiac luck in 2021. So we have a lot of topic to cover. Uh, a lot of people during this time for the rest of the year, they usually ignore me. Um, during this time of the year, this is when I'm the I feel the most popular. A lot of people will be WhatsApping me, texting me, emailing me, asking me, how is 2021? Especially this year, right? Because 2020 was such a 
was such an unforgettable year. It, it's, it, at the same time, it's also a generational event uh, that happened during our lifetime. Uh, a lot of people are very curious about how 2021 is. Well, the good news is 2021 is going to be much better than 2020 from a feng shui point of view. Uh, there are three horoscopes uh, that are considered winter animals. Uh, those are uh, pig, red, and goat. Sorry, pig, red, and ox. Ox is the last of the winter year. During the winter years, usually activities slow down. Uh, animals go into hibernation mode and, and they are all waiting for spring. Uh, what is the animal that represents the first season of spring? And that is tiger. Tiger comes right after the year of ox. So 2020 is really, uh, 2022 is really the year that a lot of feng shui masters are looking forward to. Then 2020, what does it leave us with 2021? 2021 becomes this conduit year where a lot of people are pre preparing for the spring season to come. Preparing, uh, making sure that they're ready when 2022 comes around. Usually when, uh, from a feng shui point of view, when it's a good year, that means the economy will start moving, things will start changing, uh, people will start coming out to do celebration and stuff like that. So 2021 become a very, becomes a very important year for us to be prepared for what's to come in 2022 all the way through to 2024. I expect the economy to, to go on a bull run, you know, pardon my pun, go on the bull run starting from 2022 all the way to 2025. So, a lot of times, uh, a lot of people ask me, so what is the attitude we want to bring into the year? Last year was all about agility. It's all about pivoting. It's all about speed. It's all about uh, making sure you can think on your feet. Why? Because the zodiac that is representing the year is the red. Red is a very fluid animal. It's a very smart animal. It's very intelligent and it's very opportunistic. In 2020, you can see a lot of people who have you know, pivoted successfully, become very successful over the year. The, the gap between the have and the have-nots will be pulled apart. But in 2021, the whole market is going to change because the bull is in charge. When you think about ox, you think of them as very industrious, hardworking people who are very single-minded. Uh, people born in the year of the ox are also very stubborn people. If you know any ox around you, you would know that once they have set their, their, their sights on the target, there is only one strategy, and that is to put all their mind uh, behind them and go straight uh, towards the target. And 2021 is the year that we require, which requires everybody to show a bit of resilience, a bit of that uh, uh, don't say die, don't, uh, uh, cannot say die attitude. So it's very important for all of us to adopt a, a bit of that ox characteristics in 2021 in order to be successful. Your effort really determines your success. Having said that, uh, having benefactors is very, very important. The whole, the whole 2021, when we do the Pazzi chart based on the Li Chun season, it's usually uh, an indication of what, what kind of stars will be available for the entire year. And this year, the most prevalent star is the benefactor star. So working with other people, in 2021, you will see a lot of M&A activity. You will see a lot of cross-industrial uh, uh, co uh, collaboration. You will see a lot of cross-brand collaboration. And you will see a lot of small businesses also tapping on bigger markets to try to do new innovative things. You will see a lot of people going out of their tradition traditional uh, sphere or, or realm to do new things. They are trying different things. So in the year of the ox, it's all about teamwork. It's all about working together. It's all about helping each other out. The more you help others, the more you will stand to benefit. Having said that, how do you attract benefactors? It's very important to know what auspicious colors to wear. So in 2021, the auspicious color to wear is red and green. You don't have to wear all those colors together because you will look a bit crazy, have a bit of orange, red and green. You can wear any combination of them. Some people prefer the red-green combination that makes you look like a Christmas tree, honestly. But at the same time, uh, you can also wear red uh, 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 inside. You don't have to wear red outside. So just now in the morning session, we talk about uh, how ox, uh, uh, in the year of the ox, is the Tai Sui animal. And traditionally, if you're born in the year of the ox, your parents will buy you red underwear to wear throughout the entire year to help you uh, improve your luck. So this year, red will be one of the colors that will be sold out. You make sure you go to all your departmental store and buy all your red. Uh, 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 clothes early in the year, whether it's inside or outside. 
So every year, our company come up with this thing called the Prosper Graph because a lot of people would call me, a lot, a lot of people would be talking to me, asking me about luck. I decided to make it easier to, for everyone by drawing a picture. A picture really says a thousand words. So if you look at the picture, if you look at the background, you realize that this year, uh, in 2021, the background is slightly different from what we drew over the last two years. The last two years, we drew a more competitive environment. Back in 2009, we showed a bunch of horoscope racing up the mountain. Uh, in 2020, it is uh, a lion dance scenario where people are trying to get to the top pole so they can get the cabbage and the ang pao and stuff like that. But in 2021, it's all about working together. There is a lot of opportunity if you know how to work together. Who are the two horoscopes that have the strongest benefactor luck? If you look at the bottom right of the screen, you will see there are two horoscopes with angels around their head. You have people born in the year of the horse and people born in the year of the tiger. These two horoscopes have the strongest benefactor luck. Who has the most money? A lot of people uh, care about how, how much money they're going to make for the year, especially when it comes to Chinese zodiac talk. People are most interested to hear about their wealth luck, right? So the bottom left-hand corner, you have monkey, you have dog, and you have roosters with the most amount of um, wealth-related star in their chart. To make it really easy for you to decipher this chart, what we have done is that we categorize all the zodiacs into four different categories. You have the achievers. The achievers are supposed to have really, really strong career luck, really, really strong career star. So you want to use 2021 to really put in a bit more effort in your work and show job performance. And if you can do that, promotion, uh, in pay increase can happen to you. Then you have the charmers. Charmers are uh, very likable beings, uh, very likable animals. So if you see the charmers group, they usually have hardships around them. When you have hardships around you, what does it mean? That means this is a very good year for you to gather people together, to work together. You are kind of like the leader that gets everybody to pull their resources together to do something bigger, right? So your job this year is to build personal relationship. The more you have, the better it is. If you're already in existing partnership, existing businesses with different partners, your role is very important to keep everybody together, eyes towards the goal. And then we have the learners group. Learners group, this is a good year for you to really focus on reskilling yourself, preparing yourself for 2022. Uh, if you also notice, under the learners group, we have the goat, we have the rabbit, and then we have the, uh, the ox. These three horoscopes are not ranked very high, right? If you look uh, at the pink little circle beside the horoscope, they're not ranked very high. But feng shui is very fair. If you're not ranked high this year, you're probably going to be ranked very high next year. So this becomes a year of preparation. So making sure that you dedicate time to study something new, preparing yourself for the good year. Don't waste the good year by you know, playing games and you know, not doing much uh, or taking a very extended long sabbatical. Use this time to really reskill yourself, upskill yourself and learn something useful for 2022. Like I say, 2022 all the way to 2025 is going to be a good run. This is a very important year for you. And then the last group, everybody's favorite group. Like I said, the three horoscopes at the bottom left, they are surrounded by oranges and, and money and stuff like that. They all have gold items on their body. These are the three horoscopes that have the biggest amount of wealth luck of all the horoscopes. How I'm going to do the presentation today is that I'm going to go by uh, different categories. I'm going to start talking about the achievers group first, followed by the charmers, learners, then the rich group. Without further ado, oh, before we go, before we go there, I'd like to do a quick poll first. So you have that concept in your head as you're listening to the presentation. Uh, we are going to pull out the poll uh, in here. Uh, tell me which group you belong to, right? If you are born in the year of the tiger, you are underachiever. Uh, underachievers group. If you are born the dragon, then you're under the charmers group. So put in all the information. I want to see. I want to see who has the most. Uh, where we get the most amount from uh, each category. Then maybe I'll dedicate a bit more time to talk about that group. Okay, I think we got the result. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, the charmers group. Oh, very charming group of people. Wow, the charmers group this year, like I say, your responsibility is 
forming connections with people. If you have existing connection, your role is very important. Your job is to pull people together. If, uh, if you don't have any uh, kind of partnership right now, this is also a great opportunity for you to meet new people, uh, pull people together. Your, jo uh, your, your job is very important because like I say, in 2021, it's all about pulling resources, pulling effort together, getting people together to set a common goal for everyone. So without further ado, I'm going to go straight into the 12 zodiac uh, analysis. I'm going to start with the achievers group. The first horoscope I want to talk about are people born in the year of the tiger. People born in the year of the tiger this year, you are one of the two horoscopes that has very strong benefactor luck, which I cannot emphasize enough, that is the most important star of 2021. Why? When you have benefactor luck, a lot of people with the right resources, the right experience, the right uh, connections will bring good things to you. What you also have is also a Hong Luan marriage star. This is useful for people who are single, uh, who are looking for marriages traditionally. But in this current time, Hong Luan marriage star also makes you a very charming individual. People want to give you opportunity. People want to work with you, right? When people want to work with you and give you opportunity, you make sure you take advantage of it and put your best foot forward. You also have the Tian Yi star of it, and that is the superstar of benefactor stars. Superstar of benefactor stars means these people are not coming uh, uh, from a place of, of needing help. They are there to offer help to you. So your number one priority is to make sure that you have meaningful projects in your mind that you can put into action. The last star, the Taiyang success star, is uh, Taiyang, if you translate from Chinese to English, means the sun. The sun is indiscriminate. When it comes out, everybody gets to enjoy. This year, your role is to be fair, is to be giving, is to be willing to share ideas. The more you are willing to share with people, the more you can bring important people on, on board uh, for your projects, and you can achieve success by doing that. You can also try to wake up earlier in 2021, because with the Taiyang star, the more you see the sun, the better it is for you. What do you then have to watch out for? You have this Tian Kong Wealth Lost Star. Tian Kong Wealth Lost Star means that this year is very easy for you to want to spend money. There's a few horoscopes with, with that temptation to want to spend money. Most of the time, when our luck is good, we want to spend money, make, myself, uh, make ourselves even happier, right? So this year, be watchful of your spending. If you have extra income, make sure on a monthly basis you put them aside, buy you know, insurance plan or buy like savings plan and stuff like that to help you uh, uh, make sure that this is not just a good year for a relationship. At the same time, you can also make money throughout the year. You have some kind of savings to show uh, for a, a very good year ahead. We said benefactors are very important. Who could potentially be your benefactor of the year? You have to look amongst your compatible zodiacs. Your compatible zodiacs are people born near the horse, the pig, and the dog. Of these three horoscopes, the dog and the horse have very, very good luck. They are like you, rank very, very high. So look for them to work together and then see how you can help people born near the pig this year as well. People born near the tiger, they are very, very, um, very, very uh, uh, ambitious people. They think big, they think far, and they are willing uh, to be more strategic in their approach. But at the same time, they are prone to overconfidence. So even though this is a good year, practice some humility and help people who need help, especially like the pig. Then we have people born near the snake. This snake does not look very happy at all. You're ranked 8 out of 12, but don't worry because your career star is actually really strong. If you look under all the categories, the, the one that stands out is really your career. Why? Because you have this star called the Sun Tai Achievement Star. Sun Tai Achievement Star means that you'll be given the platform to perform. A lot of people will be giving you a chance to do what you're good at. So make sure for the entire year that you're well prepared for last minute opportunity that pushes, pushes you out on stage or push, push you uh, to head up important projects. The whole year, the more ready you are, the more your good points will be highlighted. For the entire year, you must make sure that you are ready. Your game face is on. If your game face is not on and last minute people pull you to do something, your weakness might be highlighted too. If you look under the inauspicious, I know it's a long list, some of the stars that stands out are lawsuit, libel, uh, uh, slander stars. This causes misunderstanding. And people born in the year of the snake, generally, even though they're very smart, they're very sensitive people, they're very nice, they're very uh, good with their surrounding, they can be uncommunicative. 
If you look in the forest, you know snakes, they are either under, hiding under a rock or on the tree. They are usually hidden from plain sight. And people born near the snake is very prone to misunderstanding because they under-communicate. So if you're born under a year of the snake this year, make sure that you communicate your thoughts with people around you. Don't give people a chance to su suspect that you might have bad intentions. So it's very important throughout the entire year to have some close people that you can talk to in terms of communication. If you have some ideas and you feel like you might not be the best person to communicate it, then look for people born in the year of the rooster, look for people born in the year of the monkey. These two horoscopes are excellent communicators and they are also your compatible zodiac. Use their energy to help you communicate ideas so they will lend you more ground support. People born near the ox, their lung is not very good because this is the ox here, they are in clash with Tai Sui Star. Try to see how you can help them out a little bit. If you have an opportunity, help them. Why? Because their luck in 2022 is excellent. You want to buy them on your side. They will remember that you did them a favour and oxens are people who knows how to repay a favour. How do you attract your benefactors? You can use the auspicious number, directions and colours, wear them more and your auspicious zodiac or your compatible zodiac will find it easier to look for you. The last one, people born in the year of the pig under achievers group. Uh, this pig is flying. If pigs can fly, nothing is impossible, right? So this year is a very restless year for you. Why? Because you have this Ima Voyager star. Ima is like the horse that is always running. Traditionally, this star uh, is indicative of you moving from your village to the big city to look for opportunities. The more you can do that, the better it is. But of course, this year is not a very uh, conducive year for us to travel. There's a lot of travel bans, there's still this uh, virus in the background, everybody's worried about their health. But, but in the modern sense, as long as you can make some changes in your life, you can get out of your comfort zone, you can try a different haircut, buy new clothes, you know, freshen up your look a little bit. All these things will be helpful in activating the Yi Ma Voyager star. And the thing is, if you're willing to change, if you're willing to step out of your comfort zone, Jing Yu Abundance Star will make sure that you make money. Maybe you wear uh, a piece of new clothes and people find you very attractive and they want to work with you and that's how you get money. So this year, the more willing you are to step out of your comfort zone, the better it is in general. What do you have to then worry about is this Tiao Ke Morning Star. Tiao Ke Morning Star signals the end of some relationships in your life. So this year, if there are relationships that you, you know is toxic, it's a good year to end it. If you feel like some people just want to take from you and are not willing to give you, it's a good year to end it. So this year signals the end of some relationship. So on the other hand, if you have relationship that you really treasure, you want to put in a bit more effort. Tell your partner that they look beautiful, that they look nice, that you still love them, that you might not be very expressive, but at the same time, your heart is fluttering every time you see them. Remind them. This year, it's very important for you to hang out with people born near the tiger and rabbit because their luck is very, very good. Why? When their luck is good and they are compatible so that they can lend you some of their luck. And when your luck is better, you can repay the favour back to them. People born near the good are kind of in a rut together with you. So you all can willow in your misery together. Misery loves company, right? So you can also see how you can work with people in the year of the goat to overcome some of the challenges together. When the compatible zodiacs come together, their energy is usually very positive, right? So uh, look for this horoscope and see how y'all can work together to help you through the entire year. If there's nothing you want to work on in 2021, your career should be your number one priority because the stars are very conducive for promotions, for getting pay raise. Not just promotion with added job, job scope, but actually also pay raise. Uh, wear these colours uh, over the entire year, uh, more of these colours, especially when you go for uh, important events like interview or, or presentations and stuff like that. Then we have the Chalmers group. Chalmers group are very likeable people and these people are usually ranked quite high in the, in the zodiac list. People born the year of the red, we just went through the year of the red. We know that people born the year of the red are very agile. Their thinking is very, very fast. They're very opportunistic people. In 2021, people born in the year of the red is going to go through a fabulous year. The only star that uh, is not good is this painful illness star. Painful illness star kind of brings out pre-existing pre -existing condition to the fourth, 
right? So if you have health issue, you want to make sure that you are regularly getting yourself checked. If not, of course, take the doctor's advice of sleeping early, sleeping more, eating well, and exercising often, right? This is a good year for you to put health at the top of your priority, and the rest of it will work itself out. When you belong to the Chalmers group, obviously your personal charm is going to be at an all-time high. Why? Because you have this star called the Sui He Relationship Star. Sui He Star is a very special star. Feng Shui masters seldom talk about it. Usually we know that if ox, uh, if it's the year of the ox, the people born in the year of the goat, they don't go through very good luck. Why? Because Tai Sui Star is in clash with you. But nobody ever talks about this concept called the Tai Sui BFF. Tai Sui BFF means that the horoscope for the year find you the best compatibility uh, of all the different zodiacs. So traditionally, people born in the year of the ox and people born in the year of the rat, they are very close to each other. They have very different skill set. The ox is very, very uh, industrious and the rat is very, very smart. If you know the, the race, the imperial race of the 12 horoscope, you know that rat, even though they're not very strong, they're not very fast, they came in first of the 12 horoscope. The reason is because ox and rat work together and at the last minute, because red is smarter, right? They jump ahead of the ox and finish the race as number one. This year is the year that you want to ride on the ox and make sure you get a lot of things done. You also have the Yu Tang Aspiring Star. This is a very good star for you to get rid of any internal barriers or internal ceiling that you set for yourself. Maybe traditionally you would think that, oh, I don't think this is the job for me. I don't think I can do that. This year, you don't have any of those inhibition and you'll be thinking much higher. You'll be more ambitious than before. You also have this Mo Yue star that nicely coupled with the Yu Tang star. Why? Because this breakthrough star indicates that if there's anything that has been an obstacle for the past few years in order to achieve your personal goal, this year it will go away. You will create that breakthrough in your personal life, in your career or in your business. You also have the Wen Chang star. Wen Chang star is good for kids who are going through major exams. It helps you concentrate better. It helps you absorb information better. At the same time, it also helps you retain information better. Adults nowadays also need to learn, right? So if you want to learn new skills, this year is a fabulous year for you to pick up a new course, reskill, up-train yourself, you know, use your skills future credit, right? People born near the red, make sure you are dedicating some time to studying something new also. Like I say, um, ox are people who are very, very good allies with you in, in, a, in the horoscope sense. You can work together with the year, people born year of the ox because their luck is very, very good in 2022. This year, the more you help them, being red, you're very smart, you look far ahead, right? If you can help them this year, next year they will come back and help you. You can ride on their back and end up number one again. And you can also work with people born in the year of the dragon and monkey. If you notice, you are a thinking animal. But your compatible zodiacs are all very action-oriented animals, like dragon, monkey, ox, all very action-oriented uh, 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 horoscopes. This year, your job is to think. Charm people to your side and get them to do all the work. So if you're smart like a rat, this is your year. This is a year you use your personal charm to bring people together and put people to work. But, but remember to reward them, appreciate their hard work. Then we have people born near the dragon. I love dragons. Of the 12 horoscope, there's only one animal that is completely imagined. Uh, dragon is kind of like that perfect animal that Chinese people conjure up. They can fly in the sky, they can go underwater, they can, they can spill fire, they can do everything. So people born under the sign of uh, the dragon are usually very ambitious people. They think they can do everything. But this year, your auspicious star is a very nice star. This is called the Taiyin success star. Taiyin success star, uh, Taiyang is the sun, then Taiyin is then the moon, right? Nobody really gathers around to watch the sun. The sun is there and is available for everyone. But the moon, uh, during the full moon festival or the mid-autumn festival, everybody gathers under the enchanting charm of the moon to admire the moon. And this year, this is how everybody is going to look at you. If you walk on the street and people are just looking at you and, and, and giving you that loving look, it's because your personal charm is very, very high. You're like the moon. You're glowing. You're illuminating. And because of that, you are in the perfect position to get people together to work on projects. 
people would give you more leeway. People would be more willing to follow your lead. And your go-getting attitude is a magnet for talent. So people are willing to throw their weight, throw their support behind you the entire year. What do you have to watch out for? Because you're so enchanting, you are bound to get some entanglement. Entanglement are people who tangle themselves to you because they think that you are uh, onto something good. So they want to kind of tangle themselves to you, right? So this year, it's very important to ask your zodiac for help. It's very important to ask people born the year the rat, the monkey, and rooster to do. Make sure that you become a good judge of character. Some people might come with bad intentions, but people born the year the monkey, they're very smart. People born the year the rat, they're very smart. They know how to t discern between good and bad people. Talk to them and see whether they can help you discern if this person is coming with true genuine uh, intentions or they have uh, uh, not very good intentions. People born year the dragon this year, you should be very, very busy making connections with people. While your luck is quite good, is you are prone to being very tunnel vision, a bit like Rooster, very tunnel vision because you're a goal-getting type, right? You are focused on your goal and you just go one way. This year is very important to use your benefactor strength to help you uh, cover some of your blind spots that you may have in 2021. People born near the horse, they're the most energetic people of all the 12 horoscope. Uh, my father's born near the horse, working for him is the most tiring thing ever because he's always on to the next goal. Before you even finish this job, he's already on to the next target. He's very energetic, but he's so passionate that sometimes you're, you're just willing to give your life to him. Why? Because he's always very passionate about everything that he does. And this really rubs off on you. This year, people born near the horse, they are one of the two horoscopes that has the help of the super benefactor star. So this year, I, I imagine myself being his benefactor lah, because, you know, he is doing all these things and I'm supposed to help him execute, right? But I will remind him that the Yue Te Kindness Star needs him to be kind to people around him. So know how to return the favor. The Yue the Kindness Star is a very nice star to have. That means the more you do good to other people, the more you are giving to other people, the more you appreciate other people, the better it is for you. So karma really comes full circle, right? Good karma comes full circle. This year, you want to dedicate some time to be a mentor to people, to help people with your experience, with your knowledge, with some of your resources too. I'm going to tell my father I want to pay raise and see what he says. So, you the star of kindness is a very nice star to have. The more you help people, the better it is for you. So, dedicate some time to help the underprivileged, the underexperienced, the younger people around you who wants to use your knowledge to do good things for themselves. This year, you should be dedicating a lot of time to working with other people. Why? Because this year, you belong to the Chalmers Group and you have the Benefactor Star and you have the Star of Kindness. It's all to do with interpersonal relationship. While that is said, you also have this bad relationship star. It's a bit like Lady Gaga, the bad romance star, right? So Xian Si bad relationship star really indicates that some people might be there to cheat your money. So online scams, uh, you don't want to become the poster boy of Singapore police force next year. So if people tell you, oh, you're very attractive, I like you very much, if you can transfer me $2,000, I'll give you everything, don't believe that. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. So for things like that, you might want to talk to people born near the GOAT because they are your most compatible zodiac. People born, year of the, born in the year of the GOAT, they're very perceptive. They might not say much, but they're observing everything. Right? So this year is very important to have the wisdom of the good with you, to have you discern between good and bad people. People born in the year of the tiger, like I say, the two of you are very strong benefactors, right? You have very strong benefactors. Like if you can find another tiger to work with, you all can get all the superstar benefactors into your life together, right? And dogs are very goal-getting people. They are ranked number two of all the zodiac. If you can work with this three horoscope well, it's going to be a fabulous year for people born in the year of the horse. We are halfway through. We have uh, the learners group now. So learners group, like I say, they generally belong to the group of horoscope where their luck is not very good. So you want to use this year to prepare for the good luck in 2021. People born in the year of the ox, they have no auspicious star. The reason why they are ranked so low is because they are also in clash with the Grand Duke star. Being the Grand Duke star is a bit like uh, being the class monitor, where you have to be in charge of everybody's well-being in the class. People born in the year of the ox are very straight-laced, very well-behaved, uh, the model, model student type. 
So we, we know that back in primary school, uh, if the teacher leaves the class, the monitor takes charge of the entire class. And when the teacher goes out, everybody goes crazy. The orcs are the kind of people who goes up there and write people's name on the board. Not very likable, right? So people born near the orcs this year, you want to practice a bit of flexibility. When the doors are closed, let them run wild a little bit. Be their ally. Help them keep a lookout until the teacher comes back and want everybody to go back to their seat. Personal relationship is very important. This year, you will constantly get the feeling that you are biting more, um, biting more than you can chew, that your plate is very, very full. So it's very important for you mentally to be relaxed. You can try things like meditation or go shopping, online shopping, and making, making sure that your mental, mental state is constantly healthy. You can look for people born near the red snake and rooster to go shopping with, right? If you have stress, look for these people to talk to. Why? Because they know that your luck is going to be very good in 2022, right? So this year, they will dedicate a lot of their good luck to you so you can repay, repay their favours back in, uh, 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 in 2022. So people born in the year of the rabbit are uh, also not very good. The reason why it's not very good is because you have a lot of personal safety staffs. Uh, if any group of people needs to buy insurance, this is a group of people, right? So there's a lot of personal safety stars in your chart. You have the Zai Sa star, you have the Sang Men star, you have the Di Sang star. All this indicates that you might get uh, uh, injured if you're doing dangerous sports and stuff like that. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that if you have, you're doing very, very dangerous sports, you want to make sure your safety equipments are all, all working. And you want to make sure that you are mentally prepared uh, uh, to go and do all this exercise. Practice, 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 right? Uh, one of the more interesting stuff I want to talk about is the pito misjudgment stuff. If you see this uh, rabbit, uh, it has two hair clips in front at the forehead. Uh, this pito misjudgment star is uh, it's like hair covering your eyes. That means you cannot see things very, very clearly. So you tend to misjudge situation. And you also have this chew you imprisonment star. So this year when you're committing to contracts and stuff like that, you want someone to help you look through the contract, right? You can look for people born the year of the goat, people born the year of the dog, and people born in the year of the pig to help you vet through contracts before you commit to anything, right? It's easy for you to miss important information. So get these zodiacs to help cover your blind spot. Then you have people born near the GOAT. The GOAT is ranked number one back in 2020. But in 2021, you drop all the way to number 10. So this takes some getting used to. Like I say, feng shui is very fair. One year of good luck means that next, next year not very good. When this year is not very good, means next year will be better, right? So the reason why your luck is not very good is because you have like things like pao wei, lan gan, uh, da hao, uh, sui po stars. These are stars that makes you very lonely. You feel like you're in the fight by yourself. You feel like you're doing everything by yourself. You're not really getting any ally or any people who understands you. And people born near the goat, uh, because the Tai Sui doesn't, don't like you, you always feel like you're being arrowed to do things you don't really want to do anyways. Yeah, yeah, the one that the monitor doesn't like. So if there's any name that goes on the board, your name is always the first to go to the board, even though you're doing nothing. You feel very accused. <clears throat> But you also have this star called the Ti Resolution Star. Ti Resolution Star means that you're getting ground support. If your monitor put your name on the board, some other students in class say, no, this goat is actually very well behaved. The whole time he didn't make any noise. I think they made a mistake. So people will speak up for you. And if you run the trouble, there always comes timely help to get you, to, to tide you over the situation, which is why in the picture you see this goat walking, almost falling to a pit, but there's a plank there to help him, right? He's not really paying attention. So this year, pay attention to people who are helping you. Really show appreciation. This year, there's also a temptation to spend, so it's important for, for you to put aside part of your income uh, into a savings account or stuff like that. Don't touch them. So at the end of the year, at least you have some money, right? Uh, make sure you save for rainy days. Uh, you can look for people born near the rabbit, uh, horse and pig uh, in your class. You look for these animals to sit beside you. So if someone tries to believe the ox doesn't like you, at least you have all these horoscopes that are helping you get through the difficult period. Uh, the last group of animals, these are the happiest animals of 2021. Everybody wants to be this three, this, this three horoscope. First, we'll talk about people born in the year of the monkey. Monkeys are very smart people, opportunistic people. 
before anyone knows what's going on, they're already there, right? They are always the first people who are closest to the action. The thing about people born in the year of the monkey is that they're very restless being, right? And this year is a perfect year for you because you're so restless, you're always starting things. But this year, the good thing is you have long term and zi wei star. That means you only have to start, people will help you finish. All you have to do is start in, uh, interesting, exciting projects people will help you finish it. They are the left and right hand men of the emperor. They are the one who does everything for the emperor. If you want to eat, you just open a, your mouth, people will feed you grapes. You just have to lie there and give ideas. And you also have the Tian Si happiness star. And this star is very good when you have the long term and survey star. That means your mood is very good. You are motivated. You want to do more things. You have, you have more energy than usual. So this year is very, very important for you to start projects. Go meet people. Think about interesting projects, start a lot of projects, show a lot of initiative. The more you do, the better it is for you. Of all the bad stars, you only have one star to worry about, and this is the Pao Pai Calamity star. This is a bit like the Hawkins star, it's the Hao Lian star. So this year, because you're ranked number one, you're very Hao Lian, right? You go around with your head held high. So this year, people might want to give you a bit of trouble. So make sure that you are appreciating people who help you. Don't be too arrogant. Because you're ranked number one, you just think that your year is going to be fabulous. It's not true because you still have the Pao Pai star, right? Look for people born the year, the red, the dragon, and snake to help you through the entire year. It help you manage a lot of the things that you have on hand. Make your year as busy as possible. Then we have people born year of the rooster. This rooster is very good. Why? Because all the good stars are money-related star, right? If, you're, if you have money, basically you have a good year, right? But one of the things you want to pay attention to is your personal safety. Like I say, right? Uh, uh, you might have all the good stars. All, all it takes is one bad star to make your year bad. So this year, you see that rooster have a bandaged leg, right? It's because you have things like failure, nah, like things flying in your direction for no reason. Nah. You have bai hu. Lah. It traditionally means that if you go up the mountain, the, the tiger will bite your face. You know? I mean, just don't go to the mountain this year. Stay away from a mountain, stay away from tigers, right? If you see anything uh, aggressive looking, make sure you uh, pay attention to your own safety first. But your good stars are very, very good. You have Sui Lu. Sui Lu is a prosperity star, it's a money star. That means this year you'll get an income in your, uh, increase in your income. You have Pa Zuo. That means you'll be uh, very good with investments, especially asset investment. You have Tian Jie and Jie Shen, which are uh, problems going away on their own. You don't have to do much. You also have the Jiang Xing. That means you'll be given leadership position. All you have to do is to show initiative and work hard, and you'll be given managerial roles. And the most important thing is that you have Jing Gui. That means all your positive action will result in you getting more money. Very, very good year for people born in the year of the rooster, as long as you don't get bitten by tigers. <laughs> Who do you want to work with? You want to work with people born in the year of the dragon and ox, because they're very strong. They can stop the tiger from attacking you, right? And you also want to help out people born in the year of the snake. Traditionally, the snake and uh, roosters work very well together, right? But snakes are better at observing the big picture. Roosters are very focused. When they're eating, when they're looking for worms, they only look down. They don't look up. They don't know what's happening around them. So snakes are there to keep a lookout for you, making sure your opportunities are not missed. Then the last horoscope, people born near the dog. The dog are a very special breed of people. Uh, they either like you or they don't like you. They're very clear in their head. You are either uh, a friend or a foe. Their, their world is just full of black and white. It's either you're right or wrong. And if you're their friend, even if you're wrong, they will protect you. Have you seen a dog chasing people down the street? Sometimes they chase down the wrong, the wrong people. Why? Because they're protecting their owners. They think that their owners are in trouble. So people born near a dog are likable, very, very lovely people, as long as you're their friend. So this year, if you see a dog, make sure you are their friend because their luck is very, very good. They have this uh, star called the Pan An star. Pan An star is kind of like the seesaw effect where you will be elevated to the next level. You also have the Fu Te Tian Te and Fu Xing star. This is the Fu Lu So of all stars. That means you get Fu, you get more money. Lu, your career will be great. And So, your health will be great. What else do you need in life? 
right? You just need these three. These are the three pillars of happiness for Chinese people. As long as you have money, as long as your career is going well, as long as you have health, you don't need anything else. What about the wife? Nobody talks about the wife, right? <laughs> so you have this, all, all these things happening in your, in your chart. So this year, you might want to spend some time helping people out because you have all this excess of good luck. The more you use it to channel towards helping people, the better it is for you. You need people to help you with the seesaw effect. You need people to bounce you to the next level. Your benefactor stars are very strong. People are there to help you. All you have to do is appear. Right? You just appear and people want to help you. So this year is a fabulous star. I know for people born year, the dog over the last few years, not very good. This is finally a good year. So give yourself a pat in the back and make sure you work very, 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 very hard. So for people born the year of the dog, tiger, rabbit, horse are your benefactor or your compatible zodiacs. Help them out, work, work together with them and make sure that you are as busy as possible in 2021. Having said that, uh, it's, very, uh, it's very interesting to rank horoscope by luck, right? To say that, oh, monkey is very lucky and ox is very unlucky. But ultimately, regardless of where you stand in this uh, ranking, there is something you want to do. The bottom few horoscopes, you want to prepare yourself for the fabulous run from 2022 all the way to 2025. The top three horoscopes, if you are wasting time, uh, uh, playing games, doing nothing, enjoying life, then you're wasting your good luck. You want to be as possible, you want to be as busy as possible. Those people in the center, these are the people who need to be, to be a bit more strategic. You want to set a target early, use this time to set resolutions, set personal goals, and dedicate your energy towards those areas. Don't put your energy in the wrong area. So regardless of where you stand in this horoscope chart, you have something you need to do. So uh, with that, I end my 12 horoscope presentation. I hope all of you enjoy it. I'll be here to take questions. Uh, happy, happy New Year, everyone. I look forward to the questions. Thank you. All right. So thank you very much. You don't want me to call you Master Mark. So just <laughs> just call, call me Mark. Mark. Yeah, that's, that's why I, I love about this guy. He's, he's making Zodiac so much more fun to listen to, <laughs> so much more understandable things about the class monitor and everything. I just love it. All right. So once again, thank you so much for enlightening thank us you, about the forecast of the various Zodiacs and everything yes. like that. Um, and by the Way, for those of you who are watching, thank you so much for keeping uh, staying with us. In case you can't really tell, um, he's the Master Mark. <laughs> I know it looks like we're wearing the same thing and everything like that. Yeah, he's, he's, he was the one talking just he now. He has the nicer hair. No, 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 <laughs> really, not really. As age goes on, it starts to fall off. <laughs> but yes, anyway, thank you so much for joining us. And I believe that while you were actually um, talking, a lot of people were very, very curious. We, we had our Q&A um, function. A lot of people just throwing in the questions in there. We would love to answer all your questions if we could. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the time for that. Otherwise, this webinar will be just too long. <laughs> so we basically tried to take a few questions, combine them together to maybe because it's similar questions, yes. or maybe take a more generic view of your question. So hopefully, uh, you can try to interpret the answers from there. Yeah. yeah? yeah. All right, so let me just go ahead and start with one of the questions that we've had. Now, um, you... The thing is, I'm just thinking out loud because this person is asking the question, the exact words are, how does the hour, day, month, year relate to the zodiac and how should we understand the four pillars? So I think basically to, to elaborate on that, it can't be that just because, oh, monkeys are the top zodiac, all monkeys in the world will experience wealth. I don't think that ever happened for any no. zodiac any, any year. Yeah. So um, we understand that beyond the year of our birth, we also have other hor uh, other zodiac signs within yes. our uh, individuals. Yeah. So could you elaborate more about so that? So everybody actually have four horoscopes in their chart. Yep. Uh, sometimes there's a chance of you getting repeated uh, zodiacs in your chart, but the chances are like one out of 12, and then you need to times, times them four times, right, to a power of four. Oh, yeah. the, the probability is very, very low. So if you probably are born in the year of the, uh, a monkey, okay. you are very excited about the year. The year horoscope in your chart uh, makes you very enthusiastic because it governs your general mood okay. for the year. The month horoscope that you're born in actually governs your benefactor and your money luck. Oh, okay. The day horoscope actually uh, uh, indicates your personal relationship and your personal health. Mm. And then the hour you're born in, that zodiac, uh, determines your output, your performance, your job, your business, things that you produce as a person. So oh. if you can find out about your four zodiacs, you come back to this presentation, you will have a more complete view of your entire year. Okay, yeah. so basically you're saying that whatever you've... Um, talked about earlier on yes. was it's just for the, yeah. a generic, the, the main one that governs your mood, the yes. entire, the lucky stars that are yes. surrounding you. Yes. But with regards to your fate, 
I would say, your fate this yeah. year. A lot of it had to do with your own effort and a lot of other factors in between as well, your benefactors, like you mentioned, yes. and yes. other things. Yeah, okay. So, so when people come to do a yearly live reading with me, yep. uh, my job is to explain all their four horoscope uh. and let them know where to throw their energy on. So okay. if your best horoscope is in your month pillar, that means you want to dedicate your year to making money and meeting benefactors. If your best horoscope is in your career, yep. career palace, you want to work harder. Mm. If your best horoscope is in, in your month palace, right. then you want to make sure you, you prioritize personal relationship right. and health. Mm. Right. So it's, it's a very simple concept, but yep. at the same time, it's very complex when yep. you're doing the analysis. Yes. So you need to know all your zodiac to get a more complete picture. Picture. Uh, yeah. um, on top of that, I mean, I don't want to confuse things even more, but how about, th those are the four zodiacs, how about your eight, your own personal eight characters? Yeah, so the so eight characters is uh, four heavenly stem and four earthly branches. The earthly branches are all uh, are all represented by zodiacs. The, the heavenly branches is then the yin and yang of the five oh, okay. elements. Okay. So, I mean, there's a lot of combination and clashes that goes on. It's too hard to explain. So, uh, yeah. so like I say, if you want a more complete reading, come look for me. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> then good. I'll be help, happy to help you analyze the your so horoscopes. So, basically, that also answers um, the second question that I have here, which is, the, is, this a for, is this a general forecast? Is it necessary to forecast based on our birth date and time? So, yeah, as what uh, Mark has said, a lot of it, what he's just explained in this presentation is basically an overarching kind yes. of uh, forecast. It explains your general, general mood direction, for the, general mood. For the year. But of course, your individual fortunes will be determined on a lot of things as well. Yeah. But of course, if you work together with your stars, yes. uh, generally you should be, should be, <laughs> you know, uh, disclaimer, should be moving in that direction that yes. she just explained. Yes. All right, so fantastic. All right, so now another thing I'm going to ask here is, um, do the compatible zodiac signs and auspicious direction, numbers and color change each year or remain the same? They change each year. Uh, the compatible zodiac, no. The compatible zodiac is forever with you. So uh, mm. uh, we, we classify compatible zodiac based on uh, how well this different horoscope works together. Ah, I see. Uh, but your auspicious colors, your auspicious directions, and your auspicious uh, number, all these things are to help you attract your benefactor zodiac into your life. How do you determine between benefactor zodiac and compatibility zodiac is when your compatible zodiac has very good luck, they become your benefactor zodiac. <laughs> 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 so, so say for example you're born the year of the ox and you know red is going through a fabulous year they become not only your compatible zodiac but oh, also benefit. your benefactor zodiac i see yeah. and then there are other um zodiacs that are compatible uh, mostly because you get to help this zodiac out yes yes a lot. so you, there's a there's a feng shui formula to yes, it okay yeah so like if you're born the year of the rooster then snake uh, 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 snake and a dragon are yep. generally people who can work well with you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, ox. And ox. Yeah. And I also think that you you mentioned in the earlier session as well about colors. Yes. Uh, so the colors that we are looking at here, where you you, you presented, yeah. are, are colors that are for the year, but they yes. also have like like general like a general good color for a particular zodiac. Yeah. Well. So like uh, like I say, green and red color are, are good colors to have, yeah. uh, especially during Chinese New Year. If you want to buy new clothes, green and red color cannot go wrong. Yeah. But based on your own individual yep. zodiac, you should also wear uh, colors that are good for your own your zodiac. Okay. But these colors are better used for individual events. Say, for example, you're going for a job interview and stuff like oh, that. These okay. are more personal events. Okay. And these are important events for the year. You yep. want to wear more of. Then we have our forever auspicious color. And that's based on your parts. It's just day to day. You should try to oh, buy more. Okay, so if you open up your cl closet, yeah. you should have three sections. You should have the, the biggest section belongs to your own personal auspicious yep. color. <laughs> then you have a section for Chinese New Year, which is the red and green. And then there's a little section <laughs> that you buy for the year that is good for the year itself. Well, it's yeah. time to basically throw out all the clothes <laughs> and rearrange them again, everybody. So it, from that in a little instruction there. Okay, so um, let me just go on. Um, this is a bit, bit more technical about the star itself. Mm -hmm. What does the Tian Si uh, happiness star mean? A blessing from heaven? Question so mark? Tian Si uh, is, Tian is every day. Okay. See, is happy. So if you interpret it, it's every day you're happy for no reason. So for people <laughs> for born no in a monkey, they're just sitting there and just smiling to themselves because their luck is so good. Yeah. And when you have that Tian Si star, it keeps you very motivated because your mood is always on the high. You're mm. very energetic. You keep wanting yeah, to do things. When you're happy, things. you're just like, anything, is, anything goes, right? Yeah, okay, exactly. Go, do it. Uh, yeah. The most important is to be happy, right? Once you're yeah, happy, everything, all the good things will follow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here, okay, here's another uh, question about not exactly, maybe something to do with Zodiac, yes. I mean, or rather, just general feng shui. Uh, when is the Li Chun this year? Uh, it's, the, 
It's, th it's the 3rd of February at 10.08 p.m. 10.08 p.m.? <laughs> yes. I don't think any banks are going to be open at that time, but yeah, uh, so now they allow e-transfer <laughs> e also, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. So most of the time, if it's evening time from yeah. the day before, yeah. um, people will deposit their money the next morning. Yeah, okay. Uh, but uh, traditionally, uh, this is when you... Uh, a lot of people ask, why literally you need, need to go and put money in the bank, yes, right? Yes, please explain. Uh, Chinese people like to start important events with something auspicious. Like once you go into the house, you throw the pineapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it signifies what? <laughs> you know, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ong. The, the <laughs> fortune's rolling into the house. Yeah, so yeah, if okay. you start a year, technically the feng shui year starts on the 3rd of February yeah. at 10 p.m., right? Yes. You want to start by having some money in your bank. Okay. So last time, back in the day, nobody goes to a bank very often no. and nobody gets salary credited to their bank. So they are always paid in cash and then put in the tin, right? Yeah. And on the Lee day, they put em, 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 all their money that they have for the entire into the bank. But now it's less, it's less significant. So what you can do is transfer between accounts. So say for example, you have a savings account and you have a, 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 a spending current, account, current, yeah, account, current yeah. account, that you, you do most of your spending. You just transfer some money into your savings account or- Not the or, other way around, huh? Yeah, yeah. Just, just remember, okay? <laughs> because some of you might be very confused. <laughs> Shouldn't <laughs> savings go into current? No, 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 no. That means wealth is going out. Huh? Yeah. So you have to do it the other way around. Yeah. Right? So current go to savings. Yeah, okay. Or you can also use that time to buy assets. You can use that time to you know, invest in something that can grow in value over time. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Sounds buy good. Buy some gold, buy some insurance and stuff like that, right? Yeah. yeah. You have to do it in that day though. <laughs> 3rd Feb, 10 p.m. to the next day. Don't know what time. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Jane, you cannot come until 10.09. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you for that. Yeah. Um, now, what do you mean by auspicious direction? Some people are asking. So auspicious direction actually feng shui uh, um, directions colors numbers all these things are connected so if you are facing north uh, north is the energy of water north is also represented by the number one so all these are connected so uh, if you have a certain auspicious color then you also have a certain auspicious uh, 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 number okay so how do you use this number um, I don't think it's very meaningful because like you cannot buy houses unit number just for the year and next year you change house again yeah exactly you can just um, basically uh, if you see this kind of numbers you can go towards the direction slightly more I think of all the information the colors are probably the most useful your, okay of course your compatible zodiac is the most yep. important your colors followed by that and yep. then then maybe uh, the direction, direction followed by the number. Number I would just kind of ignore. Yeah, it's just some people want to buy 4D and yeah. they need some numbers. I, I just want to make sure <laughs> I just want to make sure that uh, you understand the, the the auspicious direction. Not necessarily that you have to be facing this direction every day of the year. No. <laughs> when you wake up, when you're walking, and you're walking this direction, but my auspicious. If you don't know where to go, you pick your auspicious direction and you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you're lost, and you're walking like, this I don't direction. know whether I want to go to Orchard Road or you know City Hall this year. You can where just is follow. my auspicious direction? Let's go there. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. So um, the next question is, um, okay, maybe we only actually, actually have time for maybe just two more questions. So we'll try our best mm. to summarize most mm. things. Um, and what are, why are there different interpretations, rankings by different masters? Uh, okay, so I know what I use. I yes. use, uh, we, we use uh, auxiliary star. So in, in feng shui called Shen Sa Xing. Shen Sa Xing, they move around every year amongst the 12 palaces. All right. Um, I also do a bit of research. I think that everybody who uses this method, uh, uh, they have consistent reading. But there are some function masters that I really don't know what they use. <laughs> I, can, I cannot speak for them. But if you see all the bigger brands, their analysis are kind of similar. Oh, yes. Yeah. Their interpretation of star can differ sometimes. Mm. Like long term and Zui star is undisputed number one. Most of the time, if you have long term Zui star, then it's okay. Yep. But some people might think that oh, I think that uh, a Tian Si star is more yep. important, or yep. I think that um, I think that uh, maybe uh, 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 the benefactor star is more important. This is down to interpretation, but. Uh, I see my information as quite consistent on a yep. yearly basis. So yeah. uh, uh, the most important is to pay attention to the star and not the ranking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I guess I think to, to use a, a football team as an as a yes. analysis, it doesn't mean if you have Cristiano Ronaldo, you always team, win. Yeah. You will always win. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it really depends on a lot of a lot of things about the entire team around yes. it. Uh, you know, that kind it's of the, thing. It's, I mean, it's the strategy. You have, you know, you have all the stars in your yeah. chart. 
yeah. and all this stuff should be quite consistent amongst Feng Shui masters. The interpretation is, what is my strategy? How yeah. do I use the happiness star? Yeah. How do I use the long term Zi Wei star? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so interpretation has a lot to do with it as yes. well. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so thank you for that. I think that really answers, I think a lot of people might be thinking, <laughs> hey, I went to Vivo City and I saw this you know, <laughs> signboard somewhere. Hey, you say my zodiac is quite high up, but then now... Just follow the NTUC. Uh, just follow the income one. The income one is the most accurate. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, it's made by uh, Wei Feng Shui. Wei, uh, so, totally biased comment there. So just take note, okay? No, it's not the truth, it is our opinion. It's our my opinion. opinion. My opinion. opinion only. Okay. All right. So, uh, I think the rest of the questions, okay, maybe just one last one uh, that has to do with the auspicious colors you mentioned earlier on, just one more time. Mm. And that is dependent. On parts as well, or okay. is it really just about this? So, so just now the information we shared is based yep. on that horoscope for the year yep. itself only. If you want to find your auspicious colors for yourself, then you 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 need to do a parts reading. Okay. So basically, the parts reading will tell you your chart is too cold, too hot, too dry, too mm. wet, mm -hmm. or, or too many clashes and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yep. Then the Feng Shui master is supposed to help you pick an element that is more helpful for your chart ah, to see. balance up to your balance, chart. To balance, to counter. And, yeah. and based on that element, they will have different colors. So uh -huh. water would be blue and black. Yeah. Yeah. You know, fire would be red and orange, mm -hmm. and then like mm -hmm. earth would be yellow and brown and stuff like that. So okay. it's picking of element okay. and the colors that comes with it. Mm. Yeah, the elements is the most important. So, Ba Zi probably has a set of colors that you want to use for your day-to-day -day life. Okay. More of like, say, your pajamas, you should buy in that color because you wear it yep. very often, right? But for the year, uh, if you have like, say, job interview and stuff like that, or important events you're doing for the year, then try to use a bit more of that color. Yep. And okay. then the auspicious color for the entire year, just wear it for Chinese New Year. Yep, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Can't go wrong kind of colors, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, thank you for all the answers to those questions. Thank you for the questions. One little uh, fun question to ask, what's your zodiac? I'm a rooster. So roosters are... Hey, roosters. <laughs> yeah. Roosters generally uh, don't know when to stop talking, tend to talk too much. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we really appreciate your input on this. Thank you. If Thank anyone you. should do the most of the talking between the both of us, it should be you. <laughs> I have absolutely no credibility here. Okay. So uh, with that said, we've, they've asked their questions. It's time for us to ask them questions. Questions, yes. See if yes. they have been paying attention to the presentation earlier on. Yeah. Um, and uh, we'll be giving out prizes based on that, shall we? So I'm just going to go ahead and bring you guys back to this right here and to let you know that we are about to start our giveaways to give you a little refresher on uh, what's happening maybe some of you tune in a bit late we have uh, three prizes to give out to three lucky winners and oh so sorry <laughs> three lucky winners and um, basically all you have to do is to answer the question as fast as you can now how do we do this first of all you need to tune in uh, turn on rather the chat function all right the chat function is where you're going to key in your answers to my question, and it will be based on the fastest finger first. So the person with the, fa the person with the correct answer, the fastest, would win the prize that we're able to give out. All right. So if you're ready, open up that chat function. Remember to select all panelists and attendees. Once again, there's a drop-down menu for you to select who you're replying, who you're, you're going to send a message to. Please select all panelists and attendees. Here we go. Exciting. This prize would be the bundle including the Lucky Diary and the Chinese Zodiac Handbook. Here is the question, a very simple question as well. If you're ready, what is the top ranking Zodiac for 2021? What is the top ranking Zodiac of 2021? This one you can't miss. <laughs> you, have, you, have, you have the picture in your mind already. You know it was laughing with all the gold and bananas. <laughs> hint, hint. All right, so I think we should have the winner by now already. It's just a matter of us just trying to pick out the winner because I think the, the whole uh, Zoom chat is being flooded right now. We have to just find out. <laughs> They're still going, by the way. <laughs> okay, and we have found out that the fastest person with the correct answer is Lee Kui Eng. Lee Kui Eng, congratulations. You won the prize of the Lucky Diary and the Chinese Zodiac Handbook. Uh, we will message you privately to let you know how you can redeem for your prize. Okay, so great job there. So that was the easy question. Okay, now let's go for the, the, the second question. The second question is, oh, so by the, by the way, before we, have we shown the second question yet? No, no, not yet. No, okay, good. Before we go there, let's talk about uh, the prize first. The prize for the second question is um, a lucky diary, the Chinese Zodiac Handbook, as well as an almanac. Mm. Now, uh, 
before we actually got to do this whole event, I was wondering, what is an almanac? So maybe we can get uh, Mark to explain to us. So almanac is what we traditionally call the Tong Su. Tong Su is or the Tong Sen. It's, to, it, it's, a, it's a book that Chinese people depend on for all their knowledge. Like say, for example, they the want to know... All-encompassing book. Yeah, the, the all-encompassing book. So the most uh, direct usage is like when you go to a fortune teller and they will take out this book and they flip. Yep. And they are selecting a good date for you to get married or you know, ah. do the different activities. And that book, what we did in our company is that we translate that book into a, 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 a manner that most people can understand. Oh, like even good. laymen can understand. So we made it bilingual and we, we made the language simpler. So in this book, actually, it's a very thick book. As you can see, it's very thick. Yeah, right? okay. So the last section of the book is all about date selection. The front part, there's very interesting information. Like you can do divination. You can flip to a certain page. You've asked a certain question, it give you an answer. Like a divination book, like the magic ball, right? So you ask a question like, am I going to get married? This soon, year. in the next three years. Yeah. And then you flip to any page in the book and then there will be some things over yes. there. Yes, it will say yes or no or, or like, or you have to look for your partner in a certain area or stuff like that. Mm, okay. So this is, a good, uh, this is a good book for reference for a lot of things uh, that uh, metaphysical studies uh, encompass, like dreaming. Sometimes we dream of something yeah, and yeah, we don't yeah. know what it means, we can consult this book. Interpret the dreams. Or if we have a mole on your face, you don't know whether it's a good mole or a bad mole, you can uh, consult this book. All the information... A good mole or a bad mole? Uh, yeah, so some moles are oh. good, some, some moles are bad. Or you look at your palm and you see, oh, this line is growing over the last few years. What does it mean? Oh, all the okay. information is inside this book. Ah, that's very interesting. Yeah, wow, yes. I didn't know that Almanac contained all that information. It's yeah. great. And like you said earlier on, he, he showed it me earlier on. It was very nice and graphical and very easy to, very easy on the eyes. I yes. mean, when it comes to feng shui at least, right? Yeah. I mean, you have charts, you have, you know, the colours and all that to make it very easy for you to understand. So basically anything red in this book means good. Yeah, the, it's like the, book is, the book is good. The book is good. The book is good. Okay, so now uh, let's go on with the question. So uh, you, if you get this question correct, uh, you will win the Lucky Diary, the Chinese Zodiac Handbook and the Almanac. The question here is, what are the four groupings? What are the four groupings? Uh, that he mentioned early on. Okay, so do you know that the Chinese zodiacs were grouped into four different groups based on their uh, fortunes for the year? Uh, so you have to type out the four groupings over here. And this obviously needs a bit more memory as well as a uh, typing skills, and, but we already have a winner. Oh, wow, that's really fast. <laughs> it's like as though he was already typing on the and we're waiting to hit enter. Um, he or she, I'm not sure. Um, YJ Lim, congratulations, YJ Lim. You are the winner for this bundle consisting of the Lucky Diary, the Chinese Zodiac Handbook, as well as the Almanac. All right, so we will let you know how to redeem for the prizes. So in case you need a refresher, the four groups are the achievers, the charmers, the learners, and the rich. Okay. So question number three, this one, the price would be cra uh, grab food vouchers with $50. This can't go wrong. Right? This is a, <laughs> in these times especially, it's very yeah. good to have grab food vouchers, right? Uh, I have been upgraded to premium uh, membership over premium the... Premium? Is it what, platinum? Premium? Uh, pla platinum, it's platinum. Like that, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Oh, goodness <laughs> me. I think all of us racked up points, like nothing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is almost as good as cash. Yes. <laughs> okay, so the question is, okay, this one nothing to really do with uh, what me. he said earlier on. is what I said earlier on. Uh, I wonder if any of you are paying attention to me. And the question is, where do I go to read more about my couple zodiac pairing? Where do I go to read more about my couple zodiac pairing? It's a website, a microsite that I repeated several times throughout today. So hopefully you were paying attention. <laughs> and I should, I th so basically in this website, like I said, you can get to see the uh, the exclusive couple zodiac generator, which I tried myself, very simple. You key in the dates of yourself as well as your other half, whether you have children or not, and then you just hit go. Yeah, like I Actually, say, I, I tested it. Whether you have children or not, it doesn't really matter. It just, <laughs> it just brings you to the next one. But it's good for us to know a bit more about you too. And you go on to the next page, and then it'll show you your compatibility and your fortunes. And like I say, it's the best information of all that company. Yeah, there. it is the best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Most accurate from Most prediction. Most accurate. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, so we already have a winner. Okay, so the, the answer is income.com.sg slash family. And the winner is Lin Ong. All right, Lynn, congratulations. We will inform you uh, how to collect your $50 Grab Food voucher. Congratulations. Oh, man, this is exciting stuff. So I think definitely we had a very good time today. We um, had your talk presentation giving us very valuable insights into the various um, things to take note of for each zodiac, the rankings, and, and also compatibility. I think yeah. this is something that we've been you know, really drilling on on this presentation, yes. is that no man's an island. Yes. More often than not, you 
always need some buddy, some people, in fact. Especially you know, you, in 2021. Especially yeah. in 2021. Yes. You need these people around you to really elevate you to, to get the max out of your, of your year. Yes. And also at the same time, there are things that may not be in your favour and that you have to watch out carefully for. And you definitely have to protect yourself against. Right? Yes. So I think this is great, great uh, insight and you made it very uh, easy for us to understand. <laughs> you answered some very interesting questions. We gave out some exciting prizes. I just really love it. Thank you so much no, for everything. It's a pleasure to be here. I really enjoyed myself too. <laughs> By the way, why don't you just go ahead and say something to everyone out there. Uh, uh, for all those people uh, who are uh, uh, staying tuned and, and uh, enjoying the information, like I say, uh, take everything with a pinch of salt. Ultimately, uh, effort will determine the outcome. Yep. Uh, if your zodiac luck is very, very good, uh, you want to be taking care of people. Like, like I say, yeah. your luck is very good. You can take care of other people. When their luck is good, they come and take care of you. If you're already at the bottom, uh, don't be overwhelming yourself with, with all this information. It's like, oh my God, I'm very stressed because my zodiac's not good. Like I said, we have four zodiacs. You're yet to find out the other three. Maybe it could turn out to be a fabulous year. Exactly. Uh, it's, good, uh, it's good for you, if you are not a very high-ranking zodiac, to concentrate on things that really matters to you mm, and, okay. and dedicate some time to learning something new, yep. uh, uh, preparing yourself for the for the very good uh, run of three years starting yeah, exactly. from 2022 and then the middle the middle group people uh, pick your battles make sure you are fighting the right battles if you are throwing your energy behind the wrong strategy uh, you could end up uh, uh, not going in the direction that you want to go, mm -hmm. right? So regardless of your horoscope, there's always something you can do. Don't just give up and sit there and watch TV all day. Yeah. 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 At the end of the day, it's all up to us what we want to do with our stars. Yes, yeah? exactly. It's all down to our individual efforts. So all the best to you guys out there in the year of the Ox coming out very soon. Uh, and just want to remind everybody that uh, to go on to that microsite again. I mean, you guys can probably chant it in your mind already. <laughs> Income.com.sg slash family. Not just for the, uh, the exclusive couple Zodiac generator, but because we also have some other very useful resources there to help you plan your future right. Yes. Uh, to help you maximize everything, especially in the area of health and wealth. Uh, and yeah, so basically it's a lot of things there that for you to actually go and explore. So please head over there to the website to find out more information. With that said, I think together with Mark over here, we want to wish all our uh, friends out there, especially our Chinese friends, uh, in advance, way in advance, <laughs> uh, still coming out very soon. Sing Nian Kuai Le, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and may everything go in your favour, especially when you put the effort and mind to it. So let's look forward to an awesome year of the Ox, everybody. Sing Nian Kuai Le, Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Bye -bye. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you.